friends and welcome to another vlog. I am peak fashion right now. I literally look like I have a palm tree coming out of my head. But welcome to a new vlog. It's actually been like I think five or six days since I last vlogged. I just to be honest with you have not felt like it. I've just wanted to just kind of be a regular human for the last week and just you know, just do house stuff, go to work. I've been back in The Sims the last few days and I've been obsessed. I just discovered the YouTuber Sid Mac. She does the most entertaining Sims videos where she does like builds and challenges and all of her videos are very like short and concise and very easy to watch and I love them. I've been so just inspired to play Sims 4 again. So that's what I've kind of been doing on my free time and I've been absolutely loving it. Today is Sunday. I just spent some time on the treadmill while watching Sims 4 content. <laughs> but now I'm going to go downstairs and Zane and I are gonna prep the living room because we're gonna paint one of our walls black because you guys know I love an accent wall. And I've been wanting to make that wall in our living room black for a while. We have that black accent wall in our dining room. I'll show you all that when I go downstairs. So that's what we're gonna do today. And I'm so excited. I think it's just gonna look so sleek and good and the windows in conjunction with it. I'm really pumped about it. So. That's the plan today. We might also go see the new Doctor Strange tonight if we are feeling up to it. I think we'll be feeling up to it. So that's the plan today. I figured I would just kick the vlog off here. I don't know if it's gonna be the most exciting week aside from today, to be honest with you, but just figured maybe this would be fun paint with you. Not that we're doing that intricate of painting, but it can be still satisfying to watch it all pull together. So let's head downstairs. Here's the wall in question just gonna look just like that wall and I think it's gonna look super cute and I'm really excited. Zane's already coming through pulling out all the paint supplies for us. Shout out to Zane. Edelin is trying to catch a bug that is not even inside the house. Oh now she's looking at a squirrel. Oh you think you're gonna get that squirrel? Hate to break it to you darling. You are not gonna get it. And Leela is hanging out in the TV. Hi baby. Can I boop? Thank you. All right, everything is moved. We have our makeshift mount thing that we had a handyman come do makeshift. for us. Well, it's just like, it works for how our thing is, but we're gonna paint those black as well. And yeah, I'll be back once this wall is complete. There's no going back now. <laughs> She's going. I'm excited. <laughs> and here it is. I just have good place on in the background, but it looks so good. I just haven't put the bean bag back yet or the blanket ladder because I'm waiting for the wall to fully dry. Nothing else is actually touching the wall, but it looks so good. I think it came out so pretty. I think it actually made this room look huge. I love it. I think we did a good job. You did a good job. You love it too? Mm -hmm. Looks so nice. These are the sacrifices. <laughs> Howdy, it has been a few days since I vlogged. I just, every like ounce of free time that I have right now, I just wanna play The Sims. So I haven't really been doing anything super exciting, but I figured I would just pop on. We did see Doctor Strange on Sunday and it was so good. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I just will say it was so just, it was wonderful. It had a lot more of a spooky, almost horror aspect. I wouldn't call it a horror movie at all, but it had like horror elements to it, which was really, really cool. And I feel like if you were to pick the like top five most brutal death scenes in all of the Marvel movies, all of them would be from this movie. It was so good. I absolutely loved it. So highly recommend that. I will say if you're gonna see it though, make sure you watch WandaVision on Disney Plus first. That's definitely going to be helpful for you. Um, but yeah, I figured I would just chat about maybe some of the makeup I've gotten recently because I've been slacking on the vlogs. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> like I said, I've just been enjoying being lazy when I have free time right now. So let me just chat about some things that I got. Oh my gosh. So do you remember like two months ago when my Lethal Cosmetics palette just like poof vanished? It never came. So I ended up getting a refund. It literally arrived like a few days ago. And I at first thought, you know, maybe they just like were being sweet and they sent me another one anyways whenever they got new palettes. Nope, there was no note or anything. And I will say the box itself was kind of like banged up a little bit. So it definitely looked like it had been through it, but it's here. I have the Night Flower palette now. I've already swatched it, but I haven't played with it yet. I can't believe this showed up. I went to check the mail and I was like, lethal cosmetics. I didn't order anything. They don't send me PR. 
was my palette that got lost. So that's really exciting. I'll probably feature this like in a get ready with me or something. I think that'll just be the best because at this point I don't really want to do a standalone video with it. I have so many other things to film with, but I think I will use it in a get ready with me at some point. So it's really exciting. I also got sent new lashes from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. She just came out with lashes and she let me pick four pairs. Um, I'm wearing one of them today. I'm wearing the pair Vixen. They are just like huge and obnoxious in the best way. I love them. And I think when I wear like a giant winged liner, they are going to be the ideal lash just to add that extra drama. Um, so yeah, I'm wearing the shade Vixen right now. Shade. The style Vixen. There's basically a Vices and a Virtues collection, four in each. So I picked one from the Virtues and three from the Vices. Virtues is a little bit more of a subtle lash. Subtle. They're still big. Don't get me wrong, but subtle in comparison. And Vices are like the bigger, badder ones. So we have Saint right here. They're very long and fluttery from the Virtues collection. And then my other ones from the Vices are Risqué. These ones are also very like separate -y and wonderful and Wicked are just like huge and thick. I know there's such a glare, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited about those. They're very huge and fluttery and amazing. So that's exciting. I did film this look just now, by the way. I filmed it for YouTube and I cannot talk about it right now because I think by the time this vlog goes up, it might not have even been announced what it is yet because it's a new thing coming. Don't really wanna tell you what's new and what's not. So I don't wanna give anything away, but all I'm gonna say is just stay tuned. Oh my gosh, I got the sweetest subscriber gift. I don't wanna say your name because I don't know if you wanna remain anonymous or not. I got the sweetest little package from Europe. Uh, first is from this brand called MUA Makeup Academy. It's the blush liquid cream blush in the shade Watermelon. How cute. I haven't opened it yet, but I wanna use this soon. And this one is from Makeup Gallery. It's a little duo blusher. And this is in the shade, I am not sure what the name of this one is. There doesn't seem to be a name, but the colors are super cute. And then I also got a couple things from Pastel Roses, which I've actually had my eye on for a while. First is this single shadow. Let's actually swatch this one because I haven't swatched it yet. And then I have the heartbreaking news. Oh my gosh. If you're the one who sent this package to me and you watch this vlog, let me preface by saying I think Edelin was more excited. About this package than I was because there was also a loose shadow from Pastel Roses and I was so excited about it and by the next morning Edelin had stolen it and I know it was Edelin because none of the other cats do that. Uh, this is in the shade Cat's Eye. Maybe Edelin was tempted because of the Cat's Eye but yeah I've literally torn my whole house apart. I have lifted every piece of furniture, looked under the fridge, the stove, literally everywhere. In a matter of just like 10 hours it vanished. I'm still looking for it but I am so sorry my cat stole it. I know she didn't eat it either because it's too big to be eaten, but it is hidden somewhere and I will find it. But in the meantime, this is Cat's Eye. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that shift. It's so pretty. It goes from like purpley pinky to greenish turquoise. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh, I'm so excited about this shadow. I will definitely need to try to include that in one of my custom palettes at some point. So thank you so much. And I'm sorry on Edelin's behalf for losing the loose shadow. Literally only had it in my possession for such a short time and she already lost it. But I will find it, mark my words. I also just got this Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Body Serum. Um, it's just supposed to, it has anti-aging depigmentation to help achieve naturally even skin tone by delivering tranexamic acid. Wow, I don't know words. Tran tranexamic into deeper layers of the skin. I don't know. I am not a skincare expert. Uh, it looks like this. This is the packaging. I just know that I've used the discoloration serum for the face before and I don't really know like the effect that it gave me. I don't really have like hyperpigmentation or anything like that, but I just know it felt good. So I might just use this just because it makes my skin feel good. So I'll give it a shot. I don't know if I'm the perfect candidate for it, but yeah. And last but not least, uh, St. Angel Center sent me their new collab palette. This is from the collaborator I do not know how to pronounce this name. I was trying and I think I'm going to butcher it. Smink Barrowend. That's how I would pronounce this. I don't think I'm right though and I'm so sorry, but there's the name on the screen for you. 
This palette is very, very cute. Look at it. It is beautiful and lovely. I think it is such a gorgeous palette. So I will definitely be playing with this soon. I'm thinking it'll probably be in an Instagram video. I don't know if I'll be able to get around to doing a full YouTube video with this because I have a lot of things I'm filming with right now, including with what I'm working on right now. I'm going to film a second look with the collection that I'm wearing right now tomorrow. So, uh, and then I think my Cleona dragon fruit palette gets delivered today. So I also need to play with that. I've been waiting for that for a few weeks now. And I'm so excited. And I think Unearthly Cosmetics also is sending me their leather and lace palette. So that'll be coming soon. I'm swimming in makeup right now. I got a lot to play with. And I think that's all I really had to talk about makeup wise today. I don't think I have anything else. I did get sent the Star Wars collection from ColourPop, but I got it like four days after launch anyways. And I'm already not like a Star Wars fan. I don't really care. I don't dislike Star Wars. I just don't really care about it. So I ended up giving most of it to my friend, Rachel. I kept one gloss and two liners, but the collection as a whole, I didn't need. And she's more of a Star Wars fan than I am. So I'll let her have it. Let's see any other updates. Uh, my father-in-law just started a like workout class. He owns a martial arts school here in town. Um, he's had it for years, like years and years, like well before I was even in the picture. Uh, but he just started like a hyper fight club kind of kickboxing class. And it's been really fun. We started going to that last week. It's all Mondays and Wednesdays. So we went last night and it was a lot of fun. So much work. It's like a really good workout. And I'm excited to go again tomorrow. I feel like it's been a good, I don't know, thing to look forward to the last like week and a half or so. Uh, yeah. We have to go out of town this weekend for Zane's cousin's baby shower. I think this vlog will be up before then though. And there's potentially some conventions we're gonna go to this month as well. We're undecided. I think that's pretty much the plan and the update as of right now. I'm just going to clean up my mess and maybe do some editing before I head off to work today. And then I guess I'll just catch you when something exciting happens. I feel like this is gonna be the most boring vlog in a long time. <laughs> But sorry, not sorry. That's just how life is sometimes. Sometimes I'm not doing like a bunch of extraordinary things and I'm not a vlog channel anyways. I just vlog for fun on the sidelines of the makeup stuff. So as always, I love my vlog community and I love hanging out with you and chatting with you regardless. So I'm going to clean up and get ready for work and I will check back in at some point. Howdy, howdy, it's a new day. Um, I just got done filming. I did already wipe my lipstick off though because I'm about to eat and then go to work. Uh, I got some editing done. The video for this look will be on my channel soon. So just stay tuned. Um, yeah, we're actually going to, we are gonna go to Hyper Fight Club class tonight, but I am so sore from Monday. We did lower body and my abs hurt so bad because what he does is he'll say, pick five, seven, or 10. And like to someone who's never been before, like you don't know what that means. And the first time was push ups, So it was basically like, if you pick the five, you have to do five sets of five push ups and then five punches in between. Um, seven is seven, 10 is 10 and so on. So with the 10, you end up doing a hundred. I picked the 10 the first time just because I was like, I know I'm not gonna be able to do whatever this is, but I wanna see how far I can get. I did do seven sets of it. So that's like 70 push ups, half push ups, not full ones, but, Still a lot of work. And then this last time it was sit-ups, which I'm actually pretty good at sit-ups. Like core work isn't like hard for me. Well, it's hard, but it's not like as much of a struggle as push-ups, for instance. So I did all 10, 10 sets of 10, so 100. Oh, my abs hurt. Like I feel like I got punched in the ribs. So sore, but I wanna push through and still go tonight. Like there's no reason not to go. And I'm assuming because we just did like abs and lower body on Monday, we probably won't do that today. We'll probably do arms. So yeah, um, Kanade, why are you on the counter being a bad girl? Get down. <laughs> She's the only one that misbehaves. Um, yes, also we are kind of redoing Zane's office a little bit. We wanted to reconfigure it so that I could put a desk in there and so that his desk just fit the space better and so the storage was a better situation. Our desks are getting delivered today, so we might build them tonight. If we have the motivation, I said, maybe we can order a pizza after workout and just like snack and build at the same time. I'll show you what we're working with so far. So this is the situation right now. It's a little bit of a disaster because we've already gotten like a storage thing and another desk delivered and built. He's going to use that one just to like for when he's building computers and stuff like that. Uh, so all of this is going to go. We're going to redo it. My desk is going to go here in front of the window because I love the vibes of being by a window. He's still going to be in that area, but it's going to be less massive of a desk. He'll have like 
a standing desk and this one in conjunction. Look at that little bad girl being a little bad girl. Uh, yeah, and we'll have a different storage setup and all sorts of stuff. I'm really excited to attack it. I don't think that we'll be like doing the whole office tonight. Even if we do build the desks, we'll just be getting them built and then we'll do that tomorrow. And I happen to be off tomorrow, so I might start even working on that while he's at work. The very least, I just want to get mine set up so I can play The Sims in here instead of on the couch in the living room on the big TV. Because as fun as it is sitting on the recliner and doing Sims on the big TV, uh, sometimes it's just like too far away. Like it's so hard to see all the little details. So there's that. We are still loving the black wall. It is such a vibe, especially at night. I'll try to remember tonight to take a clip of it at night because it's wonderful. Right, Edelin? Why is the big bat squishmallow on the floor, huh? Huh? Babies, are you excited to help us build? Do you want to help me? Yeah. <laughs> Zane made some progress. He got his standing desk built before I got off work and before the kickboxing class. So it's coming along. We have quite the ways to go. His friend is going to pick up this desk and take it off our hands tomorrow. So pretty soon this will be a little bit more functional of a space. And I am quite excited. Who is here? Got some makeup, by the way, Unearthly Cosmetics sent me a package. They sent me this magnetic palette, which is great because I definitely needed more magnetic palettes. Super cute. And I got the leather and lace palette. And it is fall vibes, darling. That's amazing. So excited to play with that. I'll play with it on my channel soon. Um, and if you feel like shopping, you can use my affiliate code Batty Bean. And then I also got my Cleona Dragon Fruit Palette. I ordered this on launch day. How do I open this one handed? It is so pretty. There are so many just shifty, magical shades. Look how gorgeous. I love, I cannot wait to play with this. I'll also be playing with this soon on my channel. So just stay tuned. All right, we're gonna build stuff now and watch more of The Circle because we are obsessed and the new season is out, so thank you very much. And here we are the next morning. We were up till like midnight last night. There's still some like details we need to do. I'm gonna rearrange kind of Zane's posters a little bit so that it fits with this flow a little bit more. We'll probably need to add new artwork as well, but it looks pretty good. I don't know if this table is permanently staying there and we still have a little like chest dresser thing that we're gonna kind of build to put here for more storage, but I think it looks so much better. This lighting is fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> the sun blaring in. Um, but Zane's standing desk is nice and sleek. My setup is super cute. I have my little breakfast sausages and tea going right now, but I have much more room to work before I just kind of edited and did my work wherever I could. Now I actually have a, a spot for it. So that's really exciting. And I think this is where I'm going to end the vlog. Planning on this vlog going up tomorrow. So it now seems as good a time as any to just wrap it up here so I can start editing. I'm off today. So my plans are just to catch up on some YouTube work, do some editing. I might film some swatches for those palettes that I got for future videos. I want to play The Sims once I get my work done. So kind of boring over here, wearing my cute Evan Sprout pajamas and I don't plan on changing out of them. So that's the plan for today. Thanks for sticking around and watching. I feel like this vlog was equally productive because we got like projects done, but also super boring because we didn't really do anything. <laughs> but thanks for sticking around and watching. I love hanging out with you. I love chatting with you in the comments. My little vlog community is the best community and I just adore you. So I hope you have a wonderful day, whatever you're doing. If you made it to the end of this video, I don't know, why don't you leave me some like computer emojis since we fixed the office. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe. If you wanna see more of my videos, I'm posting most days over here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.